Welcome guys, I'm Alan Denny, also known as Alan on Fire on Facebook, and this is Hungry for Heat. And boy do I have a special sauce for you today. This sauce is special, so special because it's sent to me by a guy locally in this area in Vancouver. It's a very, very, very limited edition to small batch. He's only made a handful of these sauces, so I guess you could call it a mini, mini small batch. It is not for sale. I'm sorry to say that. Not for sale. Um, but the guy who made this sauce is a hobbyist. Definitely into peppers, hot sauce, and all things hot. Loves to make his own sauce. It looks great. It's in a really great bottle. And I'll show you the label in a second. <clears throat> um, and the reason why I'm using my... Uh, Facebook name Alan on Fire as well. It's because of the sauce name. This is called Jeff's Up in Flames, Friends on Fire. So again, the guy's name is Jeff. You can find him on Instagram as Jeff Up in Flames. That looks like a great label, Jeff. This looks like a great sauce. I love the color. All right. I want to say I'm totally, I'm totally honored, Jeff, that you sent the sauce to me. That there are very few of these around. I'm the only person that's going to review it. At least for now. Unless you blow up and you decide to make more and sell them. Uh, that would be great. Um, so first let me tell you the backstory about this sauce. And why it's so amazing. It's called Friends on Fire. So I love the name. I, lo I love this label. I think this thing even glows in the dark or something. I... I sat on the shelf the other day and it looked like it was glowing or something. It was behind something. It was glowing. It was, I'm not sure what it is. It, I can feel, I can even feel the texture on this label. It's not just printed. There's something on there. It's, it's like some textured label. Really amazing for uh, somebody who doesn't even sell sauces yet. <laughs> if I have any, any influence there, you will be selling sauces. Let me taste this and I'll tell you about that, okay? Um... Uh, Okay, so the, the ingredients first, and I'll tell you the story. Okay, it says, so let me tell you what he said. He said, the sauce has vinegar, carrot, due to the color there, onion, salt, and spices. The peppers are cayenne, habanero, and small amounts of Trinidad Scorpion and Carolina Reaper. So it's not meant to be very hot. The Scorpion and Reapers were grown by a few different friends and gifted to me. Hence the name friends on fire oh, man. I love that story man that is so amazing and I hope I love this sauce which I'm sure I will I'm sure it's gonna be great all right and I, and I hope maybe I can meet your friends and get some of those peppers from them buy some peppers and, and review some of those all right so it it looks like it you know it's not too thick well yeah it's got some thickness to it so it's not just very thin either it's it's, it's got a nice texture Again, nice color, nice bottle, beautiful label, which I'm just going to keep talking about. I want this on a shirt, all right? I need more chili head shirts, and I would love to have that on a shirt, with your permission, sir, Jeff. All right, here we go. I'm going to open this bad boy up. Okay. There is a flow restrictor on there. The smell is very nice. It's very nice. And I'll tell you why. Because it's evenly textured. I can smell a little bit of everything. It's just all kind of coming up there, you know. And nothing is just like hitting me in the nose like too strong. Like sometimes you get like strong vinegar or strong spice smell. It's not like that at all. It's all very well balanced. So I love that. Really nice. It looks like, uh, even though it's a small batch made by a private maker and not a company professionally, that uh, it seems to be very good sauce. Uh, there wasn't any pressure there, so everything should be good when I opened it, right? Uh, it looks good. The texture, I wish I could show this to you guys. Because there are little pieces of pepper and stuff in there that I can see. And it looks beautiful. Little, little uh, pieces of red color in there, along with the orange color. 
And I can't really show you that. I wish I had a mirror or something. Okay. Like I said, the smell is very good. And here's the taste. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Now I can taste some of that vinegar. Maybe a little more than some of the other ingredients, but that's good. I mean, it's not, not too much. And for, uh, for you saying there's just trace amounts of Scorpion and Reaper in there, this has got some heat, man. It does. <clears throat> it's building. It, it kind of does like a Scorpion pepper and hits the back of the throat. Oh, yeah. It's not, yeah, it's not very hot, but it's, it's warm. And that's good. It's very tasty. I can taste some of that carrot. And the onion and it's very good I like this I wish there was more of this so um, I'm sorry Jeff but you're just gonna have to go into mass production and sell these professionally okay I'm the first to review this this is very good oh. I am so happy <laughs> this is amazing Jeff <clears throat> thank you so much so he says gorilla sauce making not for sale you have a truly exclusive and niche item there. I'm over the moon. Honored with having this thing. It tastes so good. It's a uh, specially made sauce by a hobbyist that even if he starts making this stuff, you know, it's like no one's going to get to have these first bits that I've had or whatever. I don't know how long he's been making these for. So could be for a while and there's been different waves of it you know however many years but I've got this one this one is mine and you guys don't have it <laughs> but Jeff hopefully you will start making more of this <clears throat> I know there's a lot in the way of uh, money and production and all that it is a big deal there's licensing and stuff like that for sauce production but I'm here to say right now, I want to say it publicly. I want to say it to you, Jeff. Maybe a lot of fire under your butt. You have what it takes to make the sauce. And you should do it. You should do it. You should mass produce this sauce. Look at the art on this label. It's very talented. This is a piece of art. And that's why I love what I'm doing so much. Because I love these kinds of products and I love the originality of some of these things. When people get started, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Spice and hot sauce and peppers. And Jeff, Jeff up in flames, you made this a beautiful thing with this contribution. It's amazing. This is an amazing sauce, guys. I'm sorry you won't get to try it. Maybe one day. Right, Jeff? Jeff up in flames, guys. This is... Friends on fire. I'm Alan on fire. Alan Denny. This is Hungry for Heat. Thanks for watching, guys, and always remember to stay hungry for heat. Hey, Jeff. It's five minutes later. My mouth got warmer. My mouth is still warm. That sauce is kind of hot for the small traces of uh, scorpion and reaper you said you put in there. Great sauce, man. Great sauce. Thanks again. I love it.